um, for from the standpoint of just our practice, and I'm sure we're reflective of of most other practices. Uh, when we've done the analysis, at least preliminary analysis, because most of what we've seen so far from the experiment has been preliminary, but from what we have done so far, um, it would be uh, financially very difficult, in some cases impossible. We have rural clinics uh, where uh, we're out in rural locations where um, a lot of the patients are have Medicare only as their only insurance. And uh, we can't buy the drug. It's uh, not. It's not feasible. It's not possible because the reimbursement structure that's been set up by the experiment is below what uh, the acquisition cost is. And uh, there are several drugs, uh, the most common that we use, uh, where the acquisition cost is higher than the proposed reimbursement out of the experiment. And uh, there's no way to manage that in a rural location and no way to, financially, you can't buy something uh, and then get paid less for it than what, you're, than what it cost you. It's just not feasible. And so um, it's going to have a tremendous impact on, on, on our practice financially and our ability, specifically in rural locations where we're already challenged with the reimbursement issues and we're challenged with uh, a lot of patients where Medicare is their only insurer. They don't have supplements, they don't have secondaries, they don't have those kinds of things. We have a large population of that, especially in the rural markets, uh, where I don't know, we don't yet know what our strategy is going to be on how we're going to be able to do that. But financially, if we just take a look at it financially, uh, it's not a possibility. We were not going to be able to uh, provide uh, the, the care necessary, uh, at least from the standpoint of using therapeutic drugs, uh, that uh, we have historically done.